Let's bring in USA Today congressional reporter Eliza Collins. She joins us now from Washington. Eliza, uh, you've been following uh, congressional reaction to these Russia revelations and General Flynn's resignation. But I just want to get your take on that last tweet from the president. I mean, he's talking. Uh, is anybody still talking about Hillary Clinton and her campaign run? Uh, President Trump is. <laughs> he, he brings it up often. He had a press conference with the Canadian prime minister and somehow got in that he won, you know, electoral victory by a landslide. So he definitely still talks about Hillary Clinton. He feels that it is something worth bringing up. And so the White House also talks about it. Mm. So Senator uh, Rand Paul said yesterday that it, quote, makes no sense for Republicans to spend time investigating Republicans. Does that seem like a popular sentiment among GOP lawmakers, even if most aren't uh, saying it publicly? Maybe they're saying it amongst each other? You know, right now, I think Republicans are trying to figure out what to do. I think there are members of the party that are definitely a little bit tougher on Russia. We've seen it with Senator McCain, Senator Graham, Senator Rubio, and they're trying to figure out how you support the president, who's really only been in power for a few weeks. It's not a good time to start going against him. We saw, you know, Senator McCain has gone against him and been slammed in the past, but they also want to make sure that they're not criticized, and Democrats are jumping on this and criticizing their colleagues for not speaking out harder. Yeah, it's sort of interesting, Eliza, and, I, and I've sort of been asking reporters and analysts about this, uh, this, this relationship between the President of the United States and members of his own party is, is transactional in nature to many, because what the Republicans are saying is, look, we don't want to derail the agenda, the legislation that we would like to see passed because we finally have a Republican and we control both houses of Congress. And so they are very keen to get that legislation passed. On the other hand, uh, there are these serious allegations right now, and several Republican lawmakers are trying to sort of focus the attention on the leaks. They're producing many of these news stories. Walk us through the argument that those folks are making. So that's exactly right. I think Republicans want their legislation to get through. They have some big opportunities, you know, health care, tax reform, and that's what they're really trying to focus on. So they're going through these they're like almost verbal gymnastics to avoid talking about what's actually going on. They're saying things like, you know, um, like the president, the leaks, the leaks are a big deal. We should not have intelligence community leaking, which of course is true. The intelligence community should not be leaking, but it's the greater issue here is what they are leaking. So they're focusing on the act of the leaks rather than what's being leaked. They're saying things like, well, I haven't seen anything to point to an investigation. Now, of course, investigations are where you find evidence that things were wrong. But right now, they're just trying to defend the president enough or divert enough attention so they can focus on what they really want to, which is that legislation. But, but, but you know, you've got Jason Chaffetz saying uh, that this is taking care of itself. And people are saying, right. uh, you know, do your job. His own constituents are saying, do your job. Uh, it does strike many people um, as sort of disingenuous. Uh, the number of, of congressional inquiries uh, that they had for Hillary Clinton, um, and now this unwillingness to investigate what appears now by by all accounts, uh, intelligence officials and even members of Congress, um, this Russian uh, hacking interference into our election, um, and even the president himself, uh, when he was a candidate, calling for Russia to hack Hillary Clinton's emails, uh, and now that you have this unwillingness by uh, members of the GOP to investigate. Right. I think we'll have to see how long this goes. If this story continues to be a big deal, I think we're going to have to see some Republican leaders come out and say, well, we should investigate. We do have investigations within congressional committees in the on Russia in general. And we've seen a few Republicans say, well, it might be good to look at this uh, Flynn thing. But I think you're exactly right. We're seeing um, town halls all over. Jason Chaffetz experienced thousands of people who were mad about a variety of things, but showed up. And I think if they're going to have to face these constituents, especially on something like Russia, which in the past has been a traditionally Republican, you know, they take a strong stance against Russia. I wonder when they're going to have to start to shift or at least call for some form of investigation. So not to hammer away at this leaks 
thing, but we are seeing a number of leaks out of the intelligence community, also out of the White House. And maybe there's something legitimate there, not that investigating the Russian leak isn't legitimate, but perhaps, you know, and I want to get your take on it. Do you think there are more leaks than we've seen before mm -hmm. in other administrations or higher level leaks? I think there are. I think that a new... Um, transition of a president is always a little bit messy. People are getting their footing. You know, you have some of the old administration still around, and things are always a little bit contentious. People are leaking. But we're seeing leaks at the top levels of the White House right now, and we're seeing kind of two orbiting circles within the White House. The traditional, more establishment Republicans coming from the Republican National Committee, like Trump's chief of staff. Um, and then we're seeing the people who have been loyal to Trump for a long time, but not necessarily part of the Republican Party. And there is definitely tension. I mean, we saw Kellyanne Conway, who's his advisor, goes right against Sean Spicer, who's his press secretary. And so we're seeing that constantly. And I think just that tension within the White House is causing people to leak. Um, you cover Capitol Hill. You cover Congress. I'm wondering, uh, have any members of Congress, uh, both Republicans and Democrats, have, have they indicated to you that because they every day seems to bring something controversial with this administration. Um, there was that old joke that President Obama was no drama Obama, mm -hmm. right? I, I wonder if you've even got Republicans saying, you know, I kind of miss those days. Not the legislation, not the politics, but just the ability to get things done um, without having to deal with the controversy that seems to pop up every day. Well, I don't think you're going to have any Republicans say they miss Obama, just because the, the political move with that. But I was talking to Senator McCain the other day, and he said, we haven't seen anything like these first few weeks. And Senator McCain just won a sixth term in the Senate. So he has seen a lot of presidents. I think they're not going to praise Obama yet. And they're still, as we said before, trying to figure out how to handle the president. But I think that everyone is kind of in shock. And I think Republicans will vocally say they're pretty sick of answering for Trump's tweet of the day or mm -hmm. the new move every day. Eliza Collins of USA Today, we appreciate your time, Eliza. Thanks for having me.